Final Olympics, Reunion with Mom, Roller Coaster of Emotions for Katie Allender. South Korea Katie Allender knew her mom, Karen, was here in South Korea, but that was it. Karen Allender had first reached out to the USA Bobsled and Skeleton Federation in advance of the Winter Games, saying she'd like to be here, and to end the falling out that birthed a four-year silence between mother and daughter. That's probably not a great idea, the Federation said. But Karen Allender was here anyway. As Katie was aware, but she was supposed to show up at Saturday's final, not Friday's preliminary heats. Yet there she was, Allender finished her runs, looked to her coach and saw her mom, who had ducked under the watchful eyes of the security team to stand backstage among Team USA personnel. Reunited. The two hugged. Thanks for being here, Allender said. Then, somehow, she walked away. Between the dozen or so surgeries she's undergone as an athlete and the body blows she's taken off the sled, there's never been doubting Allender's toughness. The brief reunion was the latest affecting moment in a four-year span since the Sochi Games loaded with emotional highs and lows a roller coaster of emotions, Allender said Saturday night. After what is very likely the last race of her Olympic career, a 13th place finish in the women's skeleton. I put everything I had into it so I expected a better result, she said. I just wanted to walk away feeling as if I maximized my potential. I've spent the last year trying to get back on my feet, if that makes sense. It began in Sochi. She finished fourth in the skeleton, but the race had just begun. Russia's Elena Nikotina took bronze by four hundredths of a second, but was later implicated in the country's widespread doping scandal. Yet the Court of Arbitration for Sport cleared Nicotina earlier this month, meaning Allender may never be bumped onto the medal podium. Whether or not the bronze ends up mine or not, that's not what it's about, she said. I think it's an opportunity to seize the moment. And that's what I tried to do here. In late 2016, Allender contracted an autoimmune disease and almost died, she said, even reaching a point where she laid in her hospital bed and accepted two things, one, that she was going to die, and two, that she had lived a good life that she was ready. I wasn't thinking, oh. I'm a three-time Olympian. I was thinking of the people I love, the people that love me, the experiences that I've had, Allender said. She went broke getting here, spending her own money to buy her skeleton sled, her speed suit and her helmet, and had to pay for her own training. A torn hamstring suffered in late 2017 complicated matters further. And the toughest blow, in May, Allender went to her close friend Steve Holcomb's room in Lake Placid, and why, sensing that something was amiss after not hearing from Holcomb for days, and found Holcomb dead on his bed. 
toxicology report issued by USA bobsled and skeleton found overdosed on a combination of sleeping pills and alcohol. There's life on the track and there's life off it, and Dollender could only sketch out a road map for the former. The only thing I couldn't plan for, she said, was almost dying and finding my best friend passed away and then the Sochi doping scandal and my mom after four years not seeing her showing up. What's next remains unknown. Her mom, who lives in Colorado, is back in her life. She doesn't have a job, she thinks, after taking time away from a position with a functional neurology company. It's difficult to see Alinda returning to the Winter Games four years from now, when Beijing plays host. Due to both her age she'd be 37 at the 2022 Games and the money, time and energy needed to make another Olympic run. I don't call it a sacrifice. It's a privilege and a choice to represent my country, she said, but added. I don't know how to do it again for four years. So this is where it will end for Allender, as a four-time Olympian who came with a hair of a bronze medal but will very likely not even seen that marker added to her resume. All Allender knows is what she'll be chasing, that feeling she gets zooming down a hill with her stomach in her throat, making it up as she goes along. I live for these nerves and the competition, she said. There are going to be peaks. There are going to be valleys. I don't want to walk away bitter or upset. I want to be not just an Olympian but a really great human.